dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about the bacterial glycocalyx the bacterial glycocalyx is the outer layer that is present in the outer region of the bacteria uh, which widely referred as the capsules and the slime layer and the, some bacterial cells uh, have a gelatinous uh, sticky substance that surrounds outside the cell that gelatinous and sticky substance is uh, widely known as the glycocalyx and literally the glycocalyx means the sweet cup or sugar coat because the major composition of the glycocalyx is the carbohydrate sugars so it is also referred as uh, sweet cups or sugar coats and in general the glycocalyx is composed of uh, polysaccharides or polypeptides or both polysaccharides or polypeptides and the chemical composition of the glycocalyx is vary widely within the species and these chemicals that is the glycocalyx chemicals are produced inside the cell and are extruded onto the cell surface and when the glycocalyx of the bacterium is composed of uh, organized repeating units of organic chemicals uh, that are firmly or strongly attached to the cell surface means the glycocalyx is called as a capsule and in contrast a loose water soluble glycocalyx is called as the slime layer and the glycocalyx is the term uh, which is widely considered as the currently accepted term uh, to refer all the polysaccharide containing substances uh, that are found external to the bacterial cell wall uh, that is uh, ranging from the thickest capsule to the thinnest slime layer and capsule is not present in all bacteria it is present only in the particular species of uh, bacteria like uh, uh, klebsiella pneumonia uh, streptococcus pneumonia etc uh, but all the bacteria have, have at least a thin slime layer in their outer region so uh, the capsules are not widely present in all the bacterial isolates but the slime layer is widely present in all the bacterial isolates next capsule and the glycocalyx uh, is considered as a capsule when the polysaccharide are more firmly or strongly attached into the cell wall of the bacteria and the capsules have a gummy slimy and a sticky consistency layer uh, which is present uh, outside the cell wall of bacteria and in general uh, the bacterial capsules are uh, made up of uh, polymers of polysaccharides but some bacteria such as the bacillus anthracis uh, use other materials such as uh, poly d-glutamic acid for the synthesis of the capsules and next the thickness of the capsule in bacteria is ranging from 0.1 micron to 10 micron and based on its uh, size and its thickness the capsules are categorized into two types one is uh, micro capsules and second one is uh, micro capsules and next the thickness uh, so we discussed the thickness is ranging from 0.1 micron to 10 micron uh, the capsules with the thickness less than 0.2 micron is referred as cap micro capsules and the capsules uh, with thickness more than 0.2 micron is referred as uh, macro capsules the capsule is thicker and higher rigid than the slime layer and the capsules are hydrophobic sorry hydrophilic or water loving in nature and it is also uh, considered as an organized structure because the structure of the capsule is uh, highly organized so it is also considered as uh, the organized layer and the capsule is on the, uh, is, ant is an antigenic in nature and it is involved in the bacterial virulence that confers the pathogenicity to the bacterial cells and next to the uh, capsule is firmly or strongly attached to the cell wall and it is not uh, removed easily from the cell wall of the bacteria and the bacteria uh, with capsules uh, produce mucoid colonies in agar medium for example uh, the bacteria like klebsiella pneumoniae and streptococcus pneumoniae will produce 
the mucoid colonies in the nutrient agar uh, plate. That is a mutant uh, mucoid colony species. Is it is a type of uh, large sticky colonies. And the capsules uh, can be visualized uh, by negative staining technique by using the stains called as uh, nigrosin or Indian ink under the microscope. Uh, in in active staining, the capsule will appear as a clear halo that is surrounding the bacterial cells. And some examples of uh, encapsulating bacteria includes the Klebsiella pneumoniae and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Next to the functions of uh, capsule, the adhesive power or attachment uh, of capsule is a major factor in the initiation of uh, uh, some bacterial disease. So uh, the capsule is considered as an uh, important virulence fa factor for conferring the pathogenicity in the bacterial cells. And uh, the next is the capsule prevents the bacteria from the phagocytosis process. The phagocytosis process means the engulfment uh, of the pathogenic cells by white blood cells. And because of its antiphagocytic nature, the capsule also acts as a virulence factor of the bacteria. And the capsule offers uh, protection to the bacteria from a variety of uh, threads uh, such as the uh, desiccation or extreme dryness uh, from the hydrophobic uh, toxic materials like detergents and the bacterial viruses like uh, bacteriophages. And that's all about the capsule. The next is the slime layer. The yeah, glycocalyx uh, is considered as a slime layer when the glycoprotein uh, molecules are uh, loosely associated with the cell wall. And the common and basic composition of the slime layer is the HO polysaccharides, uh, glycoproteins, and uh, glycolipids. These three are the major compo components of the uh, slime layer. The slime layer is, uh, is an unorganized layer, but the capsule is an organized layer. And here, the slime layer is an unorganized layer. Uh, in comparison with capsule, the slime layer is thinner and less rigid than the capsule and it is uh, loosely uh, attached to the cell wall and the slime layer can be easily removed from the bacterial cell wall by, by the centrifugation process. And next the functions of slime layer. The slime layer allows for the uh, adherence of the bacteria to the solid surface. The bacteria, the adherence of the bacteria uh, into the solid surface uh, was initiated by the slime layers and the, it also the slime layer also confers uh, protection to the bacteria from various factors like uh, uh, desiccation or extreme dryness, uh, loss of uh, nutrients during the uh, nutrient scarity, uh, antibiotics and the various uh, cell wall degrading enzymes. Thank you for your support. Thank you.